Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to the program today. We are live and direct on Voice of Biafra 97.5 FM in Biafra land. We are live on Enter Biafra Channel 1 and Channel 2. We are live on Enter Biafra YouTube channel. We are live on all platforms, including the IPUB autopiloted platform. I want to inform you today that the awareness for the liberation of Biafra continues and water water will continue to be the code. This evening is the second day of the remembrance of Asaba Massacre. Some people thought that it is only with criminality they will continue to fight for Biafra. They thought that they are going to use criminality after betraying the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazin Amdikano. Every day they are ranting and ranting about Simon Ekpa. Why we continue to focus on the enemy of Biafra? When you have people who do not know their left from their right, what you have seen in the last one year is what you are going to see, the result. We are going to analyze their confession possibly on Friday. On Friday, we are going to analyze their confession so far, so that you are going to know some of the deep meaning into what they have confessed so far. Before we go into the part two of the confession, because we are going to go into the part two of the confession. After we analyze the first the first part of their confession against Biafra and against Mazinam Dikanu, we are going to release another thing, another Ike Pentecost, Ike Mbute. And they will come to radio and to their different platform and they will begin to confess and they will not know when they start confessing. And we're going to go to the part two. Part two is where we are now. One good thing about this about this uh, Biafra liberation is that Kimanka Imankozo. That is one good thing, very very good. Kimanka Imankozo. As these criminals were busy chasing shadows, Biafra were busy planting seed. And today, I can tell you that the seed have germinated. Today, I can tell you that the seed of Biafra have germinated. They were busy cutting the grass while more dangerous seed were germinating. And today, I can assure Biafra people that the seed have germinated. We told them that the day we are going to march, they will ask, where do they come from? We have made it very clear. Our stand is on no election. That is the resolve of every Biafra person. I watch how they were sharing our video today. Everywhere they were reporting it. Oh, uh, don't mind him. He is just ordinary boy in Finland. Don't listen to him. He is just a noisemaker on Facebook. Yet, they don't want to overlook the noise of a Facebook ranter. Yet, they continue to share 
and continue to lament and at the same time saying he is nobody, don't listen to him, and they are having a sleepless night. They are not resting. They are not sleeping. They say, oh, you don't need to listen to him. He is not this. He is not that. Don't mind him. He's just making noise. Is it not what they have done in the past? If you know that we are just making noise, why are you worried? Why? Why are the Nigeria state worried? I want you people to understand that when they say he is threatening the Nigeria state, yes, so I am threatening the Nigeria state. Nigeria is not a state. I have volunteered to be the spokesperson of my people. And I am threatening Nigeria state by the power vested on me by my people. I am spokesperson of Biafra. And I'm issuing that threat on behalf of Biafra people. And that threat, I will continue to issue the threat. And the threat is that Nigeria will not be allowed to conduct election in Biafra land, in Biafra territory, come 2023. I do not know how you want me to bend my arm or my hand or my eyes or my mouth or my lips or my teeth or my tongue to say it. We are fighting for freedom and we are not hiding. We are not hiding. We are not coward. We are not bandit. We are not terrorists that doesn't show themselves. We are not criminals that hide under IPOB to commit crime and kidnap people like they come to accuse. Because everything they come to accuse on social media is what they have done in the past. We are not them. We are real human beings who have come out to fight for freedom of Biafra. And we have face, we have name, we have identity, we have address, we have job, we have what we do. We are not hiding. So when we, when we threaten the Nigeria state for killing our people, our threat is on social media. We are not threatening individuals. We threaten the Nigeria state. And we are fighting Nigeria state for self-defense. Because Nigeria state have sponsored terrorists to kill our people. For the past, you know, 60 years, they have killed their friends. And nobody is asking questions. So we have decided that this particular generation of Biafra will not fold their arms again and we are not going to complain again. So it is going to be, you kill us, we kill you back. Self-defense. And we are not hiding it. So anybody that feel that what I'm saying is not right, the person should go to hell. Anybody that feel what, if you think that what I'm doing or what I'm saying is not right, go back to your original country. Most of the countries of the world today got their independence from somewhere. So if you think that America think that what we are doing is not right, let them rewind the clock back to 1717, 1774 or so, when they separated from Britain. As simple as that. If you think what we are doing is not okay, we want you to tell your country, wherever your country is, to rewind their, back, their clock back to the days when they were like slaves in whoever or whichever country that they liberated themselves from. But today, I remember that two days ago, I told you people about Singapore. I told you people about Singapore. Right? I told you about Singapore and we are going to take you to that journey. We are going to take you to the journey of the Singapore. Do you understand? We are going to have A commercial break. How do you cage uh, 
Nandi Kano. In fact, I want to call that Nandi Kano should be released. A, a, a freedom fight agitator who said that, look, he wants liberation of his foreign people. Why are you incarcerating him? Why are you not going to arrest Flanny men? Look at the bomb blast in a uh, uh, train blast in, 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 in uh, Abuja to Kaduna. Up to today, our people are still being kept by these bandits. Where are the security? Where is the president? Where is the security act to go out and rescue these people? Tell me what is happening. It is a shame. Tell me, Igboho, they went after him in the southwest and were able to stop him. At least we're not hearing about Igboho again. Why can't they stop this Fulani man who are terrorizing this country and have made it impossible? They come to Benue and kill just in my local government within the space of three, 40 people have been killed. More than 40 people. In another local government, over 20 people were killed. And then you want me to keep quiet. They want to intimidate us. I will never be intimidated. At least, let me talk. If at the end nothing happens, and some of you are keeping quiet, keep quiet to your shame. But I want to say that the rest of Nigerians, you people are joking. I raised alarm in 2016 that these things were going to happen. What is it that I have not said? I have said it. If Nigerians want to get out of this, they should arise. Arise television. As your name implies, arise and let us liberate ourselves. President Buhari and his cohorts are not able to. Oh, but again, don't you? Oh, you put it on Biafra. Seems you know said 7th of october 2022 is our remembrance day for our fallen fathers mothers men women brothers sisters and children that were gruesomely murdered at asaba during the biafran genocidal war nigerians waged against biafrans we hereby declare friday the 7th of october 2022 a seat at home in Biafra land. Aga lo kia ni godo na ki. Ah, ifota kwa ihuri were makara monga e gagba ni lo, monga e na gagba ni lo. Eu, eu, monga e na gagba ni lo. Eu. Onoro karibio. Olobodo genu ntio. Onye ku chitere onu Biafra. Seems you no said 7th of october 2022 is our remembrance day for our fallen fathers mothers men women brothers sisters and children that were gruesomely murdered at asaba during the biafran genocidal war nigerians waged against biafrans we hereby declare friday the 7th of october 2022 a seat at home in Biafra land. Aga lo kia igodo na ki. Ah, ifota kwa ihuri were makara monga e gagba ni lo, monga e na gagba ni lo. Eu, eu, monga e na gagba ni lo. Eu, onoro karibio. Ohobodo genu ntio, onye ku chitere onu Biafra. Seems you know said 7th of October 2022 is our remembrance day for our fallen fathers, mothers, men, women, brothers, and children that were gruesomely murdered at Asaba during the Biafran genocidal war Nigerians waged against the of October to a seat at home in Biafra land. Aga lo kia ni godo na kia. If ota kwa ihuri were makara monga e gagba ni lo, monga e na gagba ni lo. Eu, eu, monga e na gagba ni lo. Eu, onoro karibio. Right, uh, welcome back to the program. And here we will now bring to you uh, the continuation of Asaba Massacre Remembrance. That is goodbye till we meet no more. 
1970, Nigeria. Anya Maro Nobo, a game of death, Kaibanimia. No, I lose it. What that has been in the table. The Assembler, um, walking in and out. Um, why? The other side. Okay, I was it. The moon fire. Papa, 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 we will go machine gun. That will be our people. And they were slaughtered in thousands. And you want to see them with your baboon? Boom, those who are doing that. Open on the bell. So, can they prefer? Of one of them, some banana motor. A banana motor. I'm a run over for another. Not a killing field. Still in the same way. No, yes, you may have guessed it. Right. This I don't know of course, I'm so sorry. What are you doing here? You say you know from Masaba is to join my people. Ose Mumu Bayana Moto Zibo, he commanded me. Abiyam Bayana Chiba. One other person, John Ogonya, Abiyam Bayana. Bayana, the car driving from here to that place. The only machine gun. Pa 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 pa. The whole people there were more down. Did you never go to Wani? Oh, Wani, they need fast. Oh, you were not bosses, you were not bosses, you were not in a job. It was a good old game, Madam. The Bullinia, eh? In I got you to the corner, they knew Madam. Not, 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 Back on this program several years ago, we recorded an hour program at Harvard. We have a lot of people who are going to be able to do it. We have a lot of people who are going to be able to do the first lady and the number of them is we attracted quite development to Asara. So now they want the war and we want the peace. Uh, if you have one Nigerian government on all the card elect, the Jimmy had the car with the word in Yasa. Only a quarter of water. Why the quarter of Stability. If that is good by to you with me, no. Nineteen seventy. I can just attend the Aya Nigeria. The Abulebu. I am a The game of Kaibanimia. No, I lose it. What that has been in the table? The assembler, um, walking in and out. Um, why? The other side. Okay, can you afford it? The open fire. Papa, 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 we will go. Machine gun that will be our people. And they were slaughtered in thousands. 
Anyo wa guzi ndi mwike wapo ne. Bo ndi ozu da kudonazo. Ope roneba o. Son kane kwifa. Ovo nyafom. Simbana moto. Abana moto. Amoro no wopo anodas. Anoda killing field. Field in the same way. No wo sa wa. Abia lebo ne ne mwoke. Kawa jupa. Umuoke anye. Wabia se anye wwa grave. Wabia se anye anye face ya di grave. Wase anye start saying your prayer. Ebele kan ne bezi with other people. One Land Rover, Land, yeah. Obro Bab Ali, my classmate in a new better college or Nicha. Of, of Uzi, I'm saying, Sonny, what are you doing here? He said, you know I'm from Masaba. It's to join my people. Ose Mumu Bayana Moto Zipo, he commanded me, Abiyam Bayana Jeep, where one other person, John Okonia, Ama Banya, Anya the car driver from here to that place. They open machine gun. Pa 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 pa. The whole people there were mowed down. Ndi ni na bubu umwani umwani fa. Obu yuwe na abu zuna abu so zuma kawani ne ja pocha. Ibo sa game mare. Ibu luje ni eh eh ena aga. The food in the corner, they no matter. Na 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 point ya for. Nde hava se no ni no si ogo koisiya. Wa no si go go buendi beni no. Mano mo wa ni ni adi adi aya nkeva. Dika wa ni. Ndi di aga ya. Uno fude nara. Babangeda. Obulu Mrs. Babangeda. Opo tole ya mu. If I don't want to go, only a willow. General, the first lady, and the number of them, if you get, I try to quite development to Asaba. So now they want the war, and we want the peace. Uh, if I don't want that is the sad story of Asaba massacre. How they massacred thousands of Biafrans in Asaba. And today, in 2022, when you have now what I should call the radical agitation for Biafra freedom, the new generation of Biafrans, we have to make history. That's why we are going to wake this wound the Nigeria government and their full and evil caliphate continue to touch us where it pains. You know, sometimes we will look at them and look at those cowards who are scared to talk in Nigeria. You see them supporting one Nigeria as if they are comfortable. They are not comfortable. The only reason why some people are supporting one Nigeria today is because they are scared of dying. And we understand that. And let me tell you, that's why we have been saying we are going to bring freedom from abroad. From diaspora. Nigeria think they have they are smart. Full and anything they are smart. We are going to bring freedom of Biafra from diaspora. We told them. They thought we are joking. Today they say, oh, Samanaka come to Nigeria now. Come to Nigeria now. I should come to Nigeria. When you don't even allow people to protest. I should come to Nigeria where you have been able to cage every politician, all the politicians in Nigeria, and nobody can talk. I can come to Nigeria where there is no rule of law. I can come to Nigeria 
where are the where our lawyers are writing to the president to respect the UN charter, the UN constitution and the UN charter that they signed and they ratified it to obey the UN charter. They are signatory to different international instrument. Today, UN asks Nigeria to release Mazinam the Kano and they can respect the UN. I told you people some time ago, we are going to bring Biafra from abroad. You don't get it. Those of you telling Simon Epa to come to Nigeria today is because you are a fool. You are, you are an idiot. If you are not a fool, you should be happy that a generation like us stood up from abroad to fight for you. But because we understand some of you, we have deprived you your right to make decision. You are brainless. You're, you are brain dead. Some of you are completely brain dead. If you are living in a sane society, you will be assigned a legal guidance. Today, all millions of Biafras abroad have become your legal guidance. You don't have the right to make decision of your own. Otherwise, you will be dead in the next four years. So those of you that are shouting, those of you small circles, just small people, Biafra land, shouting, lamenting on Facebook. You're lamenting and you're ranting end of Facebook. You say that we always rant on Facebook, yet we are your problem. Yet, you are not, you are not sleeping. Yet, you follow everything Simon Ekpa say and listen to when Simon Ekpa made something. But you continue to say it's just Facebook ranting, yet you are not resting. Whenever you hear that we are live, you, you will start to pee in your pant because you don't know what we are bringing on the table again. But you continue to console yourself. Deceive yourself that, you know, uh, that it is only on Facebook. Don't worry. It's not uh, next year. Next year is here. You are going to know that, uh, you know, it is, it is truly a Facebook rant. Biafi decided that they won't leave Nigeria. They cannot be part of a country. I want you to, people to pay attention to why we are fighting, you know, to restore Biafra. You know, two days ago, or last uh, yesterday or so, two days ago when I was responding to to the uh, Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken. I mentioned many countries that splitted from other, you know, other country and they are doing well today. And in those countries, in the list of those countries, I mentioned country like Singapore. And I also mentioned that Singapore splitted from Malaysia in 1965. Do you want to know what Singapore is like today? Let me show you. Let me show you. 1965, Singapore split from Malaysia, 1965, Singapore splitted from, from Malaysia. Let us look at what they are today. 1965, Singapore splitted from Malaysia. Let us look at Singapore today. 1960, we had to lock up people. Without trial. 1986. Whether they are whether they are language, chauvinist or religious extremists. If you don't do that, the king would be 
In Rose today, whoever governs Singapore must have that iron in him or give it up. This is not a game of cards. This is your life and mine. I spent a whole lifetime building this. And as long as I'm in charge, nobody's going to knock it down. This is it. Your life and my life. And as long as I'm alive, nobody is going to knock it down. From 1965. Here is Singapore. Where men rose up to fight for the good and the betterment and the future of their country. Why some of you idiots who Fulani have, you know, caged with terrorism and threat and of course assassination. You want us to know what we know today and come and be like a coward like you. Never. 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 And the, the, the English master uh, here, you can continue to correct splitted and split from Malaysia. That is all you are good. I like it when English masters are here to correct English uh, spellings when it is splitted and when it is when it's split. <laughs> so your job is to be here and the, you know correcting. So continue to do that. People are learning English from you. Let us continue. here we would not have made the economic progress if we had not intervened on very personal matters who your neighbor is how you live the noise you make how you speak or where you speak or what language you use had we not done that and done it effectively we would not be here today if they have have not done that and done it effectively Singapore will not be where they are today you idiot English masters English master that cannot sleep with electricity English master that don't even have bed to sleep English master that don't have road to his community English master that when he walk on the road of his community Potter Potter will cover his shoe. What is the potopoto -poto in English? They call it mood. It will cover your shoe. If you think I am lying, tell this English master who speaks English more than the British people to go to his community barefoot. Let him walk to his community from the bus stop in his town to his village with, without Okada or without car and let him come back to the bus stop. He can't walk. He will be jumping the pothole and jumping the pothole. Yeah, they come to social media and speak English. While people are moving mountain in their country, he come here to speak English. The English that cannot give him a job in the United Kingdom. With all the splitted and the split he's writing here, he goes to United Kingdom. He will be subjected to aptitude test. Aptitude test. And you know one thing? Yet, this man, do you know, he will be here telling you about English, how to speak split and splitted. Fulani are making budget in trillions. For what? Islamic study. Are you aware of that? Are you aware that there is something called Islamic study? And they are spending Trillions of Naira in Islamic study. Is he aware of that? Okay. He's not aware of that. Oh, I see. Sorry. Let us show him. Day, Day five, five of the, of the interactive, interactive session between the Senate Committee on Finance and Revenue Generating Agencies continued today. 
The lawmakers are seeking to meet up with the over 11 trillion Naira 2023 20, budget deficit. The chairman of the Committee on Finance reacts to lingering as to strike, as well as possible solution to avert future occurrence. How do we explain to the whole world for a university system that generates average of about 15 to 16 billion Naira a year? That 16 billion Naira is being, exp is being spent. And aside that, the federal government will still go ahead and pay their salaries, pay their recurrence, and also pay the capital of those institutions. And at the end of the day, the lecturers will go on strikes. And also, it is high time for federal government to stop the funding of university to the extent of salaries or recurrent expenditures. I think the Nigerian students should start asking questions. How do you spend the money generated by this institution? The lawmakers expressed displeasure with the Registrar of the National Board for Arabic and Islamic Studies, Mohammed Abdullahi, with a non remittance of over 300 million naira revenue generated to the Consolidated Revenue Fund. We were able to, 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 to say uh, 30, 30 million naira. 30, 30 million naira. Uh -huh. The professor in his country cannot even pronounce 30 million naira. The professor of this English master in his own country cannot pronounce 30 million. He doesn't know figure, but is a professor of Islamic study, generating 300 billion or million, and they are not remitting it to the national account. Yet, this idiot is here correcting Simon Epa about splitting and splitted. Are you hearing it? While he is on Facebook, Ranting and correcting English, the Fulani are on ground. And they don't know figure. This man is here. While I am here on social media, teaching him how we can get a country and turn it into a global attention, a country that everybody will come and enjoy themselves, a country where he can have security and have electricity. This man is here correcting Your English. English. How you live? The noise you make, how you speak, or where you speak, or what language you use, had we not done that and done it effectively, we would not be here today. Did you hear that? How you speak, how you do, what language you use is coming from a Singapore prime minister, those who fought and they have vision. Why people have vision, fighting for their freedom, the idiot who is now the English master is here, talking and correcting English. Why Fulani is taking the lion's share in his own land? Listen to Fulani. He can't Million even speak. Revenue generated he don't know to the consolidated what is figure. Who are able to, 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 to say uh, Thirty million naira. He doesn't know the amount yet. This man is speaking English on Facebook, correcting Simon Epa, full and name without even knowing figures. He is a professor in Islamic study, and in this Islamic study, they are budgeting millions and billions for them. While ordinary university, they are not budgeting anything. They are on strike, listening and listening attentively. Out of this 40. To conduct an exam in a year, they are saying they have spent 380 something million. Uh -huh. And you are here to collect another budget from the federal government. Yes. I will contribute just 35 million. Okay. And if they ask for their budget there, they'll be telling me in the region of 10 to 20 billion naira. Exactly. Yeah. Why somebody, a fool, who thinks Fulani doesn't know anything, is here correcting Simon Ekpa? Split and split it. 63 members of staff uh -huh. arranging for one examination mm -hmm. in a year and being paid 8.5 billion okay. and now generating only 410, out Full of which you remit only 35 million. Uh -huh. There is a need to look deeper Mba. into what this is about. No, no. To you are going to solve it with English language. Now, let us go into people who have brain. People who have brain listening to 
him. And these are the people we are learning from. Listen, we learn from people who are better than us, not non-entities who go to United Kingdom or go to English school and cram how to speak splitted and split. Progress. If we had not intervened on very personal matters, who your neighbor is, how you live, the noise you make, how you speak or where you speak, or what language you use, had we not done that and done it effectively, we would not be here today. From 1965, this is the result. Even for my sick bed, even if you are going to lower me to the grave and I feel that something is going wrong, I'll get up. And I am serious when I said on the eve of National Day, get our ablest and our best into politics. One key requirement is let's avoid hypocrisy and let's do this thing honestly and approximate the market rate. Try and get a government on the cheap, you end up with a cheap government and you'll be sorry for yourselves. First job of a government is to equalize opportunities, right? Not equalize results. You equalize results, you're done for. You end up with what Deng Xiaoping calls the iron rice bowl. Nobody works, everybody does his minimum, very little rice in the bowl. What made the difference in Singapore was that a group of men in 1963, 64, 65, when we were in Malaya, we decided that we are going only one life. If we have to die, we will die for a cause. That made Singapore possible. Did you hear that? Group of men, group of men, he did not say millions of men. He said group of men gathered between 1963 and 1964. They, reside, they were residing in Malaysia. They gathered. They said if they are going to live, they will live one life. And they are going to die, they will die once. But it is better for them to die for a good cause. They started to fight for this freedom of Singapore. Did you hear the story? Today, the Afra people, we are doing the same thing. Group of us have gathered after the abduction and kidnapping of Mazin Namdikano, and we have named ourselves autopilot. The story will be the same. Go and mark it. The story will be the same. You will tell the story how we fought Nigeria and, of course, resist the world to get our freedom. We are going to apply every mechanism possible. I have, we have said it. We have announced possible guerrilla warfare. Once we succeed in stopping Nigeria from conducting election, we are going there. I want you people to understand that we not these criminals that uh, have almost destroyed the Afra movement. You don't know the impact, negative impact of all these criminals in IPOB, what they did to this Biafra struggle. That is why so many people are not yet coming out to support the liberation of Biafra because they thought it is business as usual. And you know the business they did. The business they did is to deceive and deceive people. And of course, Mazen Namdekano have been crying for 100 men. If they were pure and genuine, Mazen Namdekano will never cry for 100 men. So he's, he's the only genuine person in those groups. They are all criminals. And those who are genuine now have left them and they are in autopilot. So now when you talk about no election, they say, oh, don't worry. That's how they do it before. Don't worry. Today they are writing on Radio Biafra. They go every day write on Radio Biafra. Oh, this one is committing crime. Oh, that one is kidnapper. Oh, this one is uh, this. The people they bought gun and give turn to kidnappers and they are no longer listening to them. They blame it on Simon Ekman. <laughs> we control every ESN. Genuine ESN under Mazin Amdikano. We control them. We feed them. We give them food. 
we give them whatever they need. We give them. They don't go into criminality. But those who are going into criminality, they know them. They measure their names. They know them. They know who they are. And they come and measure the names of those they believe they are criminals. Some of them are not criminals. Some of them are those who are not following them. So what it means is that those people, and you know, because they have to continue to mention names after we expel them in, in February. So when we are busy dealing with the Nigeria establishment, they are busy destroying Mazinam Dikano and his legacy. And then when you touch them, they say, oh, they are the one doing fighting, fighting for Mazinam Dikano. They are no longer fought for Biafra. The, what they are doing now is to try everything to destroy the legacy and we have defeated them. We defeated them since February. Since February. Today they are coming to tell you how they collected money to cancel sit at home. And if you touch them, they say, oh, they just promised us to stop sit at home to collect money. So we did not collect money. So you are going to ask them, you did not collect money? So you canceled the sit at home free of charge. So you wrote all those epistles against Amonekwa free of charge. Because each time they release press statement, they have collected money. Each time they say, we have canceled sit at home, they have collected money, have entered the account. That is in addition to the money they used to sell Mazinam Dikan. Each time they come to say, Simon Epa is not our member, they have collected money. You know when Soludo say they are going to release, they will let us watch and see what they are going to do. Uh, they have promised to do something, let us watch them. You know, you, everything is, in, if, if it is on social media. Soludo came after meeting them. And let us see, after paying the money, uh, they have promised to do something. Let us see what they are going to do. Bam! The next day, they release the press, uh, the, uh, the press release. They disown Simon Ekpa as if they own me. They disassociated Simon Ekpa as if I have anything to do with them. They say Simon Ekpa is not IPOB as if they own IPOB. They say Simon Ekpa is this. They say I should, I have been waiting for this idiot and criminals. They deceive their followers. They say, oh, we are going to sue him to court. He is using IPOB. I am waiting for the court. Nobody has sued Simon Ekpa till date. I do not know what they are waiting for. They say, oh, he is using Mazin and the We are going to sue him. I have been waiting for them to sue Simon Ekpa. And the other day, one of the women was ranting on social media. That one was ranting. Oh, uh, Simon Ekpa, uh, 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 how can they allow him to use IPOB? Oh, when um, when uh, the prophet in Germany, they wrote, uh, they, because he's fake. Please. That woman should take it upon herself and come to Finland and sue Simon Ekpa. I am waiting for them. That has not happened. All they do is to rant on social media. They think that uh, it is everybody you are going to intimidate and threaten with your mouth. Come. Where we are is what we call practical. We believe in, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> black and white. Black and white. We don't do talk. We believe in black and white. Come. Come and uh, talk and do hire a lawyer to sue someone. Else. You can't do it. Because what do you know? Come and rant. IPOB is a, is an organization, a registered organization. They are idiotic people. And these are the people who want to fight and get Biafra. Tell that Tell that woman, I listened to where they were making program. Oh, why? Samanekpa, it is because uh, they, 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 he, Samanekpa knew that they were fake. Samanekpa knew. Let them write from London. Let them go to law firm and let the law firm write. I don't know why you are waiting for people to write on your behalf. Are you not a human being? Pick it upon yourself and write. Hire a lawyer. And you can't do it. You are telling people what to do. Are you not a human being? I want to respond to that woman. I know that she is listening because all of them watch me. Tell her, why is she advising people? Is she not a human being? If she is so, you know, full of, of herself, she should go and write it and hire a lawyer by herself. Why is she waiting for people to hire a lawyer? Why is she advising them? Oh, no, we, we need to uh, make sure we go to, if they have gone to a real lawyer, a real law firm, to write to him, he would have, but because he know it was not real, and you are still waiting and advising, why you are not, you are a human being. And then the other one, you say, oh, it's because he, he, Simon Ekpa is not in London, or because he's not in America, if he's in America, America, 
you have those who have been giving you information from Finland. Let them hire a lawyer now and sue Simon Epa. You don't want to do it. You are there ranting on social media. All your ranting is on social. Mua, mua, I will be, I have not just I will, I have become your last bus stop. And said it from the beginning till now. I will be your end until Biafra come. Until Biafra will come. It is not mouth. There is nothing you can do to stop Biafra from coming. Photo. It is go and watch from the beginning when I was warning them that I will chase you out of IPOB. Today, is it not happening? Have I not chased you out of IPOB? I told you people that I will chase you out of IPOB and we are going to restore Biafra. They thought I was joking. I have chased you out of the movement. You are no longer getting anything in the movement and autopilot is in charge of this movement and we are going to make sure that Mazinam, they cannot come out untouched. Today, they are, they are writing a presidency, seeking political solution. What is the ground to seek political solution? Sit at home. The activities of the autopilot sit at home and the entire Biafra people. If there is no sit at home today, what are you going to use to seek political solution? Are you going to give excuse that, oh, you know, uh, come, release Mazinam Dikano, we have stopped sit at home, everywhere is calm and people are enjoying themselves and people are eating food, going, and the election is going to take place in Biafra. Release him, please. That is the criminals, what they wanted to do. Today we have defeated them. They thought immediately the capture Mazen and the Kanugi game is over. So, we are going to show them with their Nigeria agent. There is nothing they have not accused Simon Ekpa now. You know, sometimes I look at them and laugh. You know, <laughs> you know. So, there are some people that say I am working for Nigeria government. Nigeria government, the Tinubu paid me $25 million to make sure that P2B did not win election. They will turn again and say, oh, they should hold Simon Ekpa responsible. He is the one who is causing insecurity in the Southeast. And they thought, if, you know, even though Nigeria government is complete idiotic people. So you just listen to this kind of lies, this kind of propaganda, and you think anybody can take you serious. Bring one thing, one thing that you can think that Simon Epa did with, that is not a propaganda. Bring one thing, just one thing against Simon Epa. You can't. All the thing they do is to bring lies. So how can people take them serious? That's why they will lament from, to, till, from now till tomorrow. Nobody will listen to them. Because it is all lies. And the government of Nigeria themselves know they can't do anything. What I'm doing is right. The only thing that this idiot, these criminals don't know is that they didn't know that the fight of freedom and liberation is a legitimate fight. It does not matter whether it is violent or non-violent. That is what they don't know. So they sold up. The people that never had any training in their life, when they hear violent, they, all of them were, were, were running and peeing in the pant. Yet they are doing a lion in Radio Biafra. They are fighting like they are claiming lion. You don't, you, I don't want to know. There is what you call violent agitation and non-violent agitation, however you want it. We are not, we are going to harness every opportunity, whether the violent one or non-violent one. When you give us, when you don't allow us in peace, we give you violent agitation. We are not missing word with it. Everybody is fighting in Ukraine and Russia. It is not violent. It was war. War. These are the people who knows the meaning of freedom. Finland, where we live, they fought a war with Russia. Yeah, Finland would have said, oh, please, all oh, oh, the people that are fighting Russia, please do not go, do not go. Russia will kill us. People died. They know what is so what is a criminal they want to collect money from nigeria state oh don't tell us a, 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 a violent agitation we are going to be violent if biafra did not come i am telling you the fact it is not uh, it is because they have killed us and we can no longer be talking stories 
And so the evidences are there. Evidences are there. You are going to match. The only, the only thing, let me not just make, the only thing is that we have not get our hand in, in aircraft. We are going to be violent. The world will know that the Biafra that died for many years will never be in vain. And the next year is the opportunity. Next year. So it, it doesn't matter when you come and start making all this nonsense. You know, Simon Ekpa is this, Simon Ekpa is that. Oh, arrest him, arrest that. Go back to where you belong to, where your country fought freedom. This is example of it. I want you to listen to this. In Singapore was that a group of men in 1963, 64, 65, we were in Malaysia, that we are going to live only one life. Different in Singapore was in 1963-64 group of men from Singapore living in Malaysia rose up and decided that they are going to live only one life. If we have to die, we will die for a cause. If we have to die, we will die for a cause. That made Singapore possible. And that make Singapore possible. Some of these criminals will be on Radio Biafra adulterated radio Biafra because they have destroyed it. The ranting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are not high club. You are not high pub. Criminals. Because money have entered the account. They have to convince the Fulani. They have to convince the politicians that, yes, they are trying, you know, but you know, these autopilots are very crazy people. But you can see that we are trying. The additional press release, the additional statement, the statement is centered at Simon Ekpa is not a member. <laughs> Simon Ekpa is not a member of their club, of their criminal club. Simon Ekpa is not a member. That is the statement. The statement is no longer condemning Nigeria army, killing our people. The statement is no longer, you know, talking about Biafra. The statement is that Simon Ekpa is not a IPOP member. Autopilots are criminals. These people are not a member. They are the kidnappers. They are, they are now not about Biafra. It is about who is a kidnapper, who is not a kidnapper, who is a criminal, who is not a criminal. They are no longer telling you that Nigerian is a corrupt and a collapsed country. Nigeria have collapsed. They are not telling you that. Okay? No, 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 no. Do you think they're telling you that? They cannot tell you that. Now, let me show you one more thing about P2B. Which side you put it? Which be your own mind? Which day your which in your mind? As all this now, all this now the kind of issue they go around. Which in you know uh, even a few weeks ago now you get some women with their arrest for an abuse. Say abuseana for imo. Na imo. Uh huh. Na imo. Say the arrest not the wrong. Arrest not the bad. people will leave a country where they practice democracy. If they want to agitate, they agitate. Mm. If they feel say they know they treat them well, agitate. Whether the country the treaty was well, no. You now you say the country the treaty. Ah, now you take your talk say we never become anything now. But uh, no, 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 no. You, you see, when they well, you know yourself. Fairness, is fairness. We have regions. We even have in our constitution what they call federal character. Now they say if we eat this food, everybody will get here. Equal. Now, if we say if we reach Jesus, make it to the people. Even if say Namumu will be, he treat us like human beings. If Mumu, okay, Mumu, come do your own. Let we come do our own Mumu go. But this year, they go treat you say you not do anything. And now we be Nigeria pass. So. Why you talk to her? Ah. How you be Nigeria pass? You pass. You did Nigeria pass me. <laughs> so, if you go for anywhere for this country, mm. when you see the citizens of the place finish, neighbor man, you go see. 
As if people be there everywhere. Now they do trade, now they do vocals, now they do local shop, everything. And I ask they come Lagos, do us, go Ibadan, do us, go Medugri, where did they even fight? Be the house. Go Ayola, do the house. Everywhere we did. They could treat us like people will say we want to be here. But as they push us, like every day, they go to attack us. They go buy our house. The government, they don't want us to be part of anything. Even when they do post, they know they give us. Even if they will give us, they give us the one where ah, maybe they just give this people. Like they don't chop uh, all the meat. Maybe they take the Are you people hearing it? Kito B is lamenting. He knows the truth. That is why I tell you people, don't worry. When we have hit the jackpot, where we are going to hit it, all of them will buy, all of them will come back and support. Believe me, next year, let us handle this thing very well. All of them knows the truth. All of them knows that Nigeria is not for them. They are only being scared of being assassinated. They are only being scared of being killed. And that is the reason why the Biafra is coming from diaspora. So leave all these things Peter B is doing. Now, all these things he's saying, he'll tell you, oh, give me presidency so that all these things he's lamenting here will end. <laughs> and you and I know it is not possible. Peter B is more Biafra than you. He can never come openly to show it. The only thing he is doing now, as a coward he is, as a coward, British is using him. As a coward he is, he cannot speak openly like a man and say, I am not going to be part of this thing anymore. I support the people fighting for freedom. Do you understand? The position of P2B have not changed. This thing, let me play it again. The board. Which side? What's in your own mind? What's in your mind? As all these nanas can go around. What's in your mind? You know, uh, even a few weeks ago, now you get some women with their arrest for now, but say, I've been saying for Imo. Na Imo. Uh, na Imo. Say, the arrest is not the wrong. The arrest is not the wrong. People will leave a country where they practice democracy. If they want to agitate, they agitate. Mm. If they feel say they know they treat them well, agitate. Whether the country they treat you as well, no. I think your man talks say we never become anything now. But say anybody no, no, no. stop you. No, no, no. You, you see, when they, well, you know yourself. Fairness is fairness. We have regions. We even have in our constitution what they call federal character. Now, if they say if they eat this food, everybody will get here. Equal. Now, if they say if you reach Jesus, maybe you this person. Even if, say, Namumu will be, he treat us like human beings. If Mumu, okay, Mumu, come, do your own. Let we come do our own, Mumu, go. But this year, they go treat you, say, you know, do anything. And now we be Nigeria pass, so. Why are you talk to her? Ah. How you be Nigeria pass? You pass, you be Nigeria pass me. So, <laughs> if you go for anywhere for this country, when you see the citizens of the place finish, neighbor man you go see. As if people there everywhere. Now they do trade, now they, they do work. And this is the P2B. This is the P2B who told you, do not vote me because I am an Igbo man. Deep down inside P2B, he is Igbo man. And he tried to play politics. He tell you, do not vote me because I am Igbo man. Here. He is lamenting. The reason why the Igbo people are being marginalized is because yeah, yeah, Igbo people are treated bad. They are pushing us to the world. They are doing this and doing that. That's why I told you people, don't worry. Because the P2B you see here did not know how prepared and heartless we are going to become for our freedom. When you see the seriousness in, in us, you think you will have a choice? You think P2B will not abandon Biafra when see the green light of Biafra and go to Nigeria? The answer is no. I want you people to wait and see what will happen. Because they thought that 
this whole thing is business. You know, you know, they know the people, they know these criminals that were expelled from IPOB. They know them. They know they were never genuine. They go from their back and start collecting money. That is what they do. So they can never take them serious. It's just like when Wazirike is, is talking about uh, P2B and those contesting for to become president. Because Wazirike already know who they are. He never take them serious. So it is the same thing. The politician already know who these criminals in IPOB are that have this almost destroyed Mazen and Bikano. So they never take them serious. They never take them serious. Today, as we are saying no election in Biafra land, they say, ah, is it not what you do? Don't worry. Yeah, is that, well, is that not what you say the other day? Yeah, they say it. But this one, Oga Vununese, Oga Vununese. So I want you people to understand that by the time we show very big resistance to this no election or to make sure that there is no election in Biafra land, all these people you see, p will be, they will start backing us. And let me tell you, do you know what all these, uh, all these nomadic people, you know, Igbo nomadic people, you know what they do, those who say they're supposed to be, they say, oh, wait, 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 if p be don't win, we will come back to Biafra. Can you imagine a stupid people we should wait first. If Peter B did not win, we will go back to Biafra. We are not that cowardly people. We are not Nigerians. Nigerians are those who are being manipulated by circumstances. Change. I want you to listen to this. Listen to this. For anybody who changes his principles depending on whom he is dealing, that is not a man who can lead a nation. For anybody who changes his principles depending on whom he is dealing, that is not a man who can lead a nation. Did you hear that? Anybody who changes his principle according to who he is dealing with is not a man who can lead a nation. So all this bunch of fools who tells you, oh, let us wait from, from uh, Peter Obi. When he fail, we will not come back to Biafra. You are not people who can make decisions. You are a very big fools. Those who say, oh, let us go to Nigeria when we changing your principle according to who you deal with. We don't do that. We are learning from the best. And I have now brought two best in the world, at least in freedom fight. I brought the former prime minister of Singapore. You have heard from Mandela. That is the principle. That is the full step we are taking in autopilot. Consistency. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. We are not looking back. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. I served my country. All of us, we are deceived. You know me. Anywhere you say Biafra is happening, I will go there. I won't even ask questions. I will go. Until I'm deceived. I have served everybody. I said everybody. The who is who in our land. I have served them. Bar none. Did I not say it yesterday that I campaigned for P2B? Don't you know that? I was at the front campaigning, leading protests on the streets of London. Because I don't, I don't talk, I do things that comes with it. Did P2B not disappoint everybody? If you come out today and say that Biafra is in the next door, let's go. If you go, I, I join you immediately. Before you get there, I'm there. I have served everybody. Check what's your
Name them. Ojuku himself. Peter Obi. As long as you come out, you know, in life sometimes, only those who are trusting are very easy to deceive. Because you have to trust. Somebody saying that they are going to fight to liberate you. Why won't you trust the person? I'm asking you. Why won't you trust the person? How do you know if the person is real or not? Without trying it. It's like trying to critique a book. Having not read it. Doesn't make sense. Or trying to critique a film that you have not watched. So that is why. That if you come out tomorrow yourself. And say that you can do this thing that you are doing better than us. I will climb down from here and I will follow you. Because what matters to me is Biafra. But we followed them and saw that there is compromise after compromise, deceit after deceit, deception after deception. They can't handle the truth. Are you hearing the difference between Mazenam the Kanonyendo and the criminals in IPOB? Mazenam the Kano is ready to give way to anybody when he sees the person is real. But the criminals, they are fighting to protect their salary. To 2,000 rands, South Africa rands, to broadcast on Radio Biafra. They are fighting to protect their schools. IPOB is paying the school fees of some of them. That is what they are fighting for. So if anybody comes who is not very conversant with how they loot the money, they are going to go into trouble. Finally, finally, we destroyed everything. We destroyed their criminality. So, sir, you, you ask me now, what stops you now from reading out names? And saying 99 countries is supporting Biafra. That is the best thing to say. So that when we say we need money for something, you will give us, yes? But I can't tell you that. Because that is not the right thing to say. We are also reporting that P2B, everybody seeks umbrella under Nigeria. P2B is today telling us that he wants, he is also commanding the Nigerian army for keeping Nigeria as one. These are the people that will defend him when we come after him. This is the criminal that stole money belonging to Anambra people to go and build a shopping mall in Abuja. Peter Obi. He is now hailing Nigerian army for keeping the country together, the people that killed his own people. When I tell you that Peter Obi was bad, people thought I was joking. Have you now seen it? He's hailing them for killing his own people, keeping Nigeria as one. And these are so-called Igbo people. Igbo men. Maybe his um, al Haji boyfriend has told him to do that. People don't know that Peter will be sleeps with other men. People don't know that. People don't know what we know. Only a few people knew what we know. I served my country. All of us, we are deceived. You know me. Anywhere you say Biafra is happening, I will go there. I won't even ask questions. I will go. Until I'm deceived. I have served everybody. I said everybody. The who is who in our land... I have served them, bar none. Did I not say it yesterday that I campaigned for P2B? Don't you know that? I was at the front campaigning, leading protests on the streets of London. Because I, I don't talk, I do things that comes with it. Did P2B not disappoint everybody? If you come out today and say that Biafra is in the next door, let's go. If you go, I, I join you immediately. Before you get there, I'm there. I have served everybody. Name them, Ojuku himself. Peter Obi. As long as you come out, you know, in life sometimes, only those who are trusting are very easy to deceive. Because you have to trust. Somebody saying that they are going to fight to liberate you. Why won't you trust the person? I'm asking you. Why won't you trust the person? How do you know if the person is real or not? Without trying it. It's like trying to critique a book, having not read it. Doesn't make sense. Or trying to critique a film that you have not watched. So that is why. That if you come out tomorrow yourself and say that you can do this thing that you are doing better than us, I will climb down from here and I will follow you. Because what matters to me is Biafra. But we followed them and saw that there is compromise after compromise Deceit after deceit. Deception after deception. They can't handle the truth. So, sir, did you? you ask me now, what stops you now from reading out names and saying 99 countries is supporting Biafra? 
That is the best thing to say. So that when we say we need money for something, you will give us, yes? But I can't tell you that. Because that is not the right thing to say. We are also reporting that P2B, everybody seeks umbrella under Nigeria. P2B is today telling us that he wants, he is also commanding the Nigerian army for keeping Nigeria as one. These are the people that will defend him when we come after him. This is the criminal that stole money belonging to an umbrella people to go and build a shopping mall in Abuja. P2B, he is now hailing Nigerian army for keeping the country together, the people that killed his own people. When I tell you that P2B was bad, people thought I was joking. Have you now seen it? He's hailing them for killing his own people, keeping Nigeria as one. And these are so-called Igbo people. Igbo men. Maybe his um, al haji boyfriend has told him to do that. People don't know that P2B sleeps with other men. People don't know that. People don't know what we know. Only a few people knew what we know. Peter will be. There. Now, that is exactly what we are talking about. So when they come, they start making all these statements. Oh, uh, Biafra this, uh, Biafra that. He is never real. Opportunity has been given to some of them. They failed woefully. You all see how Ojoku handed over to P2B. P2B failed Ojoku. P2B failed woefully. P2B failed Ojoku even till Ojoku dead. He failed him. Completely. Today, all of them are coming to shout they want, oh, yeah, where P2B lose, we will fight Biafra. We be to be fail, you find Biafra. That is what every one of these people you see are shouting on social media. Oh, let us uh, let us wait first. Let it be lose. Then we'll come back to Biafra. We are not that stupid. You see, we have separated the chaff from the wheat. Oh no boo the chaff. The chaff now is so big. Peter will be. Eh, the main Biafra people are not bago. They are the people sitting at home. Is it not at home you are going to do voting? Come and come and do voting at home now. They say we are on social media. We agree. Yet they are worried. They are worried about our social media. I don't know whether voting is taking place on social media. Why are you worried about social media people ranting? We are ranting on social media. We agree. We agree. So why are you so worried over social media? Is the social media going to be, is the president of uh, Nigeria going to be on social media? No. So why are you worried? When you know that we are social media people, when you know that we don't have capacity to stop Nigeria from doing election in Biafra land. I don't know, you know. So so you should not be worried. Simon Ekpa said there is no election. Don't be worried. Why are you worried? When it's only just on social media, we are ranting. But let me tell you, this is what we are doing today. Avoid hypocrisy and let's do this thing honestly, approximate the market rate. Try and get a government on the cheap, you end up with a cheap government and you'll be sorry for yourselves. First job of a government is to equalize opportunities, right? Not equalize results. You equalize results, you're done for you end up with what Deng Xiaoping calls the iron rice bowl. Nobody works, everybody does his minimum, very little rice in the bowl. What made the difference in Singapore was that a group of men in 1963, 64, 65, when we were in Malaysia, we decided that we are going to live only one life. If we have to die, we will die for a cause. That made Singapore possible. We couldn't be placated and settle for less. To settle personally for a way out for yourself was easy. You vote in jokers, cranks, weak men, charlatans with some gift of the gap. You run a very serious risk of losing everything you have. Your future really depends on what you make of it. The government can give you that framework can give expression to the will of a people, but the people must have their will.
If you don't have it, there's nothing a government can do. Did you hear that? The people must have their will. If you don't have your will, there is nothing the government can do. And today, we are going to show Nigeria that we have our will. And this, our will and our future is on our hand. I'm going to play this again. For you to know how Singapore become what it is today from 1965. Nigeria had independence in 1960. Go to Nigeria today. All you see is pig farm. Pigri. Pig farm in the street. Pig farm in the market. Pig farm. There is no shopping mall. Everywhere is like pig in Nigeria. There is no development. No nothing. You retrogress. You go backward. The retrogression. There is nothing to talk about Nigeria. And after 60 something, 62 years, P2B is coming to lament about how they are marginalizing in Debo. And by the way, I want to acknowledge those who have, uh, you know, blessed us with Super Chat today. Joy, Nadozia, thank you very much for supporting us with your Super Chat. We appreciate you. MSA, continue to give water water to all the Ewu Gambia, writing rubbish and garbage on the comment section. Water water is the code. Nam Gozegi. Exactly. We are going to continue to give them water. Water. Azoka Chas Wankwa. No comment. Thank you very much. Our chair, Umada chairperson. Uh, thank you very much for your another big share of hundred dollars super chat. And a hundred hundred. Thank you very much. And then we have another another super chat before I forget who is that. Um we have another super chat. From somebody, I think a good man or something like that. I uh, didn't see it. It has already disappeared here. I'm going to look for it later on. So thank you all for your super chat as we move ahead. So I'm going to replay this uh, particular video and uninterrupted. or religious extremists. If you don't do that, the country would be in ruins today. Whoever governs Singapore must have that iron in him or give it up. This is not a game of cards. This is your life and mine. I've spent a whole lifetime building this. And as long as I'm in charge, nobody's going to knock it down. But we wouldn't be here, we would not have made the economic progress if we had not intervened on very personal matters. Who your neighbor is, how you live, the noise you make, how you spit or where you spit, or what language you use. Had we not done that and done it effectively, we would not be here today. And even for my sick bed, even if you are going to lower me to the grave and I feel that something is going wrong, I'll get up. <laughs> And I am dead serious when I said on the eve of National Day, get our ablest and our best into politics. One key requirement is let's avoid hypocrisy and let's do this thing honestly, approximate the market rate. Try and get the government on the cheap, you end up with a cheap government and you'll be sorry for yourselves. First job of a government is to equalize opportunities, right? not equalize results. You equalize results, you are done for. You end up with what Deng Xiaoping calls the iron rice bowl. Nobody works, everybody does his minimum, very little rice in the bowl. 
What made the difference in Singapore was that a group of men in 1963, 64, 65, when we were in Malaysia, we decided that we are going to live only one life. If we have to die, we will die for a cause. That made Singapore possible. We couldn't be placated and settle for less. To settle personally for a way out for yourself was easy. You vote in jokers, cranks, weak men, charlatans, with some gift of the gap. You run a very serious risk of losing everything you have. Your future really depends on what you make of it. The government can give you that framework, can give expression to the will of a people, but the people must have their will. If you don't have it, there's nothing a government can do. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. You have just watched that. We are learning from the best. We don't just come and talk and talk and talk. We are learning from the best and those who have gone to this line before and we are winning and we will continue to win. And that's exactly what is going on here. So I want you all to watch a very, very funny video that I want to play today. And this video will illustrate those barking like dogs on social media. Why when they see you physically, they will be hiding like chicken. So I want all of you to watch this. This is a very funny very, very funny, but you are going to enjoy it. It illustrates the criminals and their irat and what we are doing. Joseph, John, thank you very much for your super chat. We appreciate you. You know, the super chat is what is really paining a lot of them. And because uh, <laughs> they have learned that uh, the more they talk, the more we get super chat. So <laughs> they are no longer talking. <laughs> right, uh, you are a man. I love you like my leader. Man, they can. Thank you very much. Now we are going to show you this video which is very, very funny. I want you to pay attention. I found this video very interesting. Oh, it's interesting. I'm going to exactly if I'm on social media. I'm watch it. Then I'll come back to talk about it. You see? The dog is barking. When they leave him, he's not back again. You see, when they hold him, he's backing. And when they take him close, he's afraid. Look at him. Look. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> and, then, and then when they hold him, he's backing. <laughs> if for social media, I go not for social media. Exactly if I'm here. I can't go on a book. I can't go on a book. I can't go on a book. Social media in a nutshell. A quick summary of even social media. Somebody got on a page and I book and get that. Go, 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 go. Offers again in real life. Omea. 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 In real life, you go believe, you go collect. How are you? How are us? Oh, you know, you're on your phone. Not to my canals, you look after yourself and don't fight and turn on. 
Ntono zenchia. Asi mwani ike ine nye kwenso wuna Facebook ko nene na china. Etu kwa mwote kutia peki ki wae. Tako oto wale ya wacha tu. Chumwa. Lip the eyes. Lip the eyes of the dog of this small dog. Koto wale ya. Anonome tu maiche wacha. Gini kina na ayati ipa chi luka. Is it back again? You know? Sometimes you can ask like that if you only have in real life, you know go feel to compa. You can't do anything in real life. The same thing within the saga. I know not only on a page you're not called bitch. Now I cook a gas from again. All food is like you're not losing a can be. Maybe they can one cut and cut and one bag on yala. Don't kill me about that all. That all. I don't want to be bored. Oh, so that call gang you better not. On my guess like this in film, you go believe. So I can't stand what the line. Learn from Monkata no more. Give an aboja hat alone. Can I tell an amen? Aha boja. My name is Chi. Thanks for listening. I'm for hi everyone. Kick I me. Oh, we can see calm. I'm going to sit on the corner so long. Watch here. And the other naba, young kid and naba. Oh, no, exactly. If any man are social media. Oh, what is there? Then I'll go back to talk about it. If for social media, I want to for social media. Exactly. Right. So I found this video very, very interesting. You <laughs> know. The dog is barking like uh, the criminals you know, on social media. <laughs> like in Keta, Keta Mohamed Abbas in Kuwait. Of course, I'm going to have to go to the house. Of course, I'm going to have to go to the house. Of course, I'm going to have to go to the house. Of course, I'm going to have to go to the house. Of course, I'm going to have to go to the house. Of course, I'm going to have to go to the house. Of course, I'm going to have to go to the house. Of course, I'm going to have to go to the house. Of course, I'm going he should go. I have always told them, anytime, anyhow you want it, I will give it to you. Woto woto. Or woto woto. I give it to you. Pia gopo, ega mano muke pia gopo. Icho kwa nuka nyegi gentle, I will give you gentle. Icho kwa nuka nyegi, you know, udo abona, I will give it to you. Anyhow you want it. Icho ya ino yibo we, I will, I will be very, very nice and simple ino yibo we. Icho ya nke opi weka. You know, some of them say, Sanama Aro Chagaburu no piweka. Eh, if you want it to piweka away, I'll give it to you piweka away. A piago po. Gini, kuta go no gina woke neme. So, that is where we are going to do it. And tomorrow we are going to continue. I want everybody to understand that the sit at home on the 7th continues. We will continue the program tomorrow until the 7th of October. And for that reason, we are going to go on commercial. Here we go. Thank you very much, Romeo, for your super chat. We appreciate you. Well done, Martinique. God is your strength. We are grateful to have you. Thank you very much for your support for the super chat. <laughs> said 7th of october 2022 is our remembrance day for our fallen fathers mothers men women brothers sisters and children that were gruesomely murdered at asaba during the biafran genocidal war nigerians waged against biafrans we hereby declare friday the 7th of october 2022 a seat at home in Biafra land. As a law, Kia, Nigodu, Maki, Ah, if a tapa, if you were a Macaramanga, I got by Nilo, Manga and Abadilo, Eu, Eu, Manga and Abadilo, Eu, Honor Caribio. Oh, the Ganuntio, Oya Puchterono Biafra, seems you know, said. 7th of October 2022 is our remembrance day for our fallen fathers, mothers, men, women, brothers, sisters, and children that were gruesomely murdered at Asaba 
during the Biafran genocidal war Nigerians waged against Biafrans. We hereby declare Friday, the 7th of October, 2022, a seat at home in Biafra land. As the law here, Nigodo, Maki. Ah, if you talk about you, you were a Macaramanga and a body, no, Manga and a body, no, eh, eh, Manga and a body, no, eh, Honor Caribio. Right, thank you very much. May God bless you. May God bless Mazen Amdikano. May God bless on the Igbo home. May God bless ESN. May God bless our all our alliances. May God bless Umada and their husband. May God bless our media team, autopiloted media team. May God bless all of you. May God bless you that is supporting and always sharing. May God bless those that are funding this movement for the liberation of Biafra and SDA. Thank you very much. From here, from me, peace. Good evening.